before we get cracking with today's video, I just wanted to say, forgive my voice sounding maybe a little bit off. I seem to have come down with something of a minor chest infection. Don't worry about it, everything will be fine. But of course, if my voice sounds weird, that'll be why. Anyway, let's get cracking. At the start of chapter 4 of Red Dead Redemption 2, we are introduced to the big city of Saint Denis, the state capital of Le Moyne, and the largest settlement that we see in the entirety of the Red Dead series. As you can imagine, just like the rest of Le Moyne, this city is rife with crime, corruption, injustices, inequality, austerity, industry, and encounters that range from outright weird to blatantly terrifying. And as fun as it is for we as the player to sift through a good chunk of that, today's video is going to be focused on a single encounter that you can have regarding Josiah Trelawney. As there is a secret in the city of Saint Denis that I'm sure many of you are aware of, where you can find Trelawney's home. So where does our friendly neighbourhood demon Sorry Huckster reside? Trelawney's home is located in a back alley in the northeastern quarter of the city. While Saint Denis may be big, it's not actually that big so it shouldn't be too tough to find. From the road passing his home on the west, you'll find an establishment called the Rose and Olivier. To the left of that you will find a back alley and down there this is where you will find a staircase where you can head on up to be met by this dialogue. That was absolutely delicious, my dear. Thank you. Well, I think a toast is in order, don't you? Here, let's fill that water glass, Tarkin. It's unlucky to cheers on an empty glass. Okay. To the Trelawneys. It's good to be home. The Trelawneys! Are you staying now, Daddy? I wish I could, my boy. I really do. But... Business calls. Oh, I almost forgot. I don't suppose anybody here would be interested in, say, a uh, present? Me! Me! Okay, this is for you. Wow! Thanks! And this one's for you, Cornelius. A spinning top! I got that in a town called Blackwater. And last but not least, for you, my dear. Aw, thank you. Now run along and play, boys. Let your mother and I read the newspapers. Trelawney, is that you in there? Um, uh, <clears throat> Arthur? What on earth are you doing here? Uh, I can't speak now. Sorry. Can we catch up in the office on Monday? Let's adjourn to the parlor, my dear. Not the moment's peace. So it would appear as if Josiah Trelawney's permanent residence is in the city of Saint Denis, where he lives with his family, his wife and his two sons, Tarkin and Cornelius Trelawney. It is also quite obvious that his family is completely oblivious to the criminal element of his lifestyle, only knowing that his work keeps him on the move, which allows him the excuse to come and go as he needs to to work with the gang. And as this dialogue suggests, though this may be his permanent residence, he isn't here very often, and we know he manages to find his way into temporary accommodation whenever he's working around the gang. That being said, Trelawney is not afraid to engage in criminal activity inside the city of Saint Denis either, as during the chapter 4 mission A Fine Night of Debauchery, Trelawney helps us rob a ferry. While this wasn't directly in the city, it was probably the talk of it afterwards. All this extra information is just unnecessary padding to the video, so I'm going to cease that now. But I will say this, it is likely that after the gang fell apart, this is where Josiah Trelawney went to live out the rest of his life. Maybe this is where Trelawney is during the epilogue. Before we get onto that, you can have this follow-up conversation back at camp with Trelawney after finding him at his home. Back from the city then? Same as we all yes, uh, it looks like uh, a gentleman's business is his own, wouldn't you say, Arthur? I guess so. There is another variation of this conversation if you wait for Trelawney to initiate it. I know you saw me in town with my wife. I never knew you were married. It's hard, Arthur. I love her. But, uh, I can't stand still. Can't do it! Poor woman. Oh, she's fine. She knows who she married. Did she? No, probably not. 
As far as the epilogue is concerned, I do not believe that in-game you can find Trelawney at all, as through research nothing has come up about it and I refuse to believe that something like this would fly under the radar. So of course I thought I'd give it a go anyway, so I fired up my PS4 where I have my epilogue save, went to Trelawney's house to see if anything would trigger and lo and behold, nothing. So we can only presume that he returned here after leaving the gang, maybe he got his family and moved somewhere else afterwards, starting a fresh life somewhere new entirely, away from anywhere where people would look to potentially search for him. You know me, I could ramble on forever about this, but I think that concludes today's video. So let me know, what do you think? Do you think Trelawney stayed here, or do you think Trelawney left? I reckon he stayed here for a while, and then eventually moved his family elsewhere. So thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends with all that wonderful stuff, that would be super appreciated, and I do suppose I will see you all very soon with another video at some point.